I'd like to welcome you all to the set visit press conference on the House of Jack Built. So the panel members, as you all know, is uh, Louisa Vest, producer, Santropa, Mr. Matt Dillon, in the role as Jack, the prominent director, of course, Lars von Trier, and Uma Thurman's Lady One, and Madeleine Ekman, producer from Santropa. I chose him and I chose uh, Uma because they, they obviously can't read because uh, we, uh, <laughs> we, we, there were so many people that we sent the script to that said they would do anything to work with me except the script. <laughs> and then there were two that said yes, and I said, but, no, that's no, yes, we'll do it. The films that he makes are always unique and they're not like any film that I've seen before. And, um, you know, I mean, we've only been working together for a couple of days, but I really, really enjoyed the experience. Um, also, that Lars also insisted to me that he takes full responsibility for his films. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm, I'm very excited and looking forward to, to um, this. And, you know, and I've, I've worked with a number of actors who've worked with Lars, and I'd say from an, from an acting standpoint, I've always been really impressed with the performances. And we actors know that, you know, you can end up, you can give a great performance and it can be edited to a, cert, a certain way where you'd go, you kind of roll your eyes and go, oh, what did I do here, you know? But I feel like I'm in, in very good hands here with Lars. Um, well, uh, when I worked with Lars before, I had a wonderful time. Um, and, you know, it didn't disappoint him that badly. He grumbled and, and was a little bit unhappy occasionally, but I kept trying. Um, uh, I had a wonderful day uh, working with Lars some years ago and um, in, a, in a really spectacularly challenging part that he wrote in Nymphomaniac. Um, and, uh, and then when I was, I was so thrilled that he, that he uh, sent me a script and then I, then I read it and I went, okay, there it goes. <laughs> um, but, you know, they, you know uh, working with Lars is an amazing uh, director for actors. I think that um, I can tease him to say that I think he's incredibly sensitive uh, and uh, tender with his uh, what he's trying to get in a brutal way out of things. So it's it's a, it's a, it's uh, we will see. It's in his hands. Look, I think it is very dark. I will say that it's a very dark uh, story. But in that, it is serial killers are a part unfortunately, of the world that we live in and have been for quite a long time. So it is an object uh, worthy of investigation based on that creatively. So I, that's how I felt when I read it. That, and knowing how there's also a very uh, poetic side to it, I don't think that this is like, a, this isn't like a sterile, uh, non-fiction kind of uh, story like that. This is very much from Lars's uh, point of view and uh, very interesting. All the women I've been with, for some strange reason, has been crazy about serial killers. That might be something, has, might be something to do with me, but, uh, but my experience is that that women like serial killers. But it's, it's uh, and, and that's, I thought I could fool somebody to go into the cinema. It's, it's about a serial killer and she doesn't survive, so. Um, <laughs> uh, there's, I, I never, I don't have 
I, I don't choose my parts because of how they end. Um, usually choose to work with a filmmaker, um, writer, director, very often. We did talk about how serial killers don't look like serial killers, just like, you know, if you look at uh, some of the worst people in history, if you were to just look at them, they sometimes can look clownish or strange, not necessarily menacing or frightening. And uh, listen, I'm willing to do the opportunity to play a character like this and to explore it from, from an acting standpoint, it's what we look for as actors. Okay, I think that's a wrap. We thank everybody for coming today. Thank you. For coming. Thank you. Yeah. Er der nogen specielle benspænd, du har glædt dig selv i udformningen af den her film? Først, den første benspænd er jeg overhovedet for filmen lavet. Og jeg må sige, at jeg føler mig ikke 100% fedt for fight. Jeg, ja, jeg er jo blevet ældre, som sagt, og jeg synes en masse ting med bare at komme op kl. 6 om morgenen og skulle ud og, og styre 100 mand rundt. Det, ja, det, det, jeg føler, det er en byrde. Men, men jeg føler det også, det er skønt, når der er ting, der er gået godt, som i dag for eksempel. Så er det jo en... en, en, en en gave. Hvad er det, du kan mærke sådan en dag som i dag, altså, som, som ligesom kan få noget tilbage på skolen? Hvad er det, som ligesom, du stadig kan mærke? Øh... Jo, men det er, når jeg mærker øh, karaktererne ligesom vokse, vokse frem. Okay. Ikke? Og så nogle episoder, som jeg har skrevet, som jeg har tænkt havde en vis dramatisk eller komisk effekt, når det så viser sig at have det, i hvert fald efter min erfaring. Hvad er det perfekte mor for dig? Det perfekte mor er, hvor hvor offeret synker sammen med et lille smil. Hvad er det, ligesom, du har udforsket her, udfordret dig selv på her? Jamen, jeg udforsker i virkeligheden mig selv. Det er jo meget, der er jo altid en, en hovedperson, i, eller flere karakterer, som er udformet efter mig selv. Og det er massemorderen er også mig selv.